Good morning, people. This is uh, Aiden, and I'm back with the video. And you, you can see on my chat, someone spamming it. But you know, back in SGE, there's like I don't know, 10, 20 of these guys spamming you, trying to make you buy gold. But right now, there's only one family that's spamming. That means it's just some try-hard Chinese mining company. But that's not what this video is about. So this is actually about. Um, my perspective as a new player, technically I'm still a new player, haven't used up my pioneering shit yet. So what is this video about? Well, I didn't make a script, and it's obvious, you can see my whole screen, I'm not reading off anything. Well, basically it's progression. So in a span of, let's base it on my medals, I've been technically playing for 20, 21 days or so. And I'm at level 31 family after deleting, I actually deleted like two or three level 100 characters just to stay low B. Oh crap, I used the wrong warp. Well, anyway, now I saw a message in my YouTube section. There was a comment saying that it took him a while to level up again. Uh, this dude, I kind of got him to playing, I guess, because of my video. I think. <laughs> oh god, it's loading slow. Anyway, um, here we go. He said, I can't believe the early leveling is still hard as many as years ago. Uh, technically, it's, it's still the same. But the thing is, you don't do the AFK thing. You don't go and, you know, like, back in the day, since the quests were kind of trash, You'd ignore that and just AFK and level yourself up because it's useless. Well, actually now, if you do the quests, you will get levels faster. So what I'm saying is, it's better if you do the quests. And in a span of a day, you can actually reach veteran. And if you got to veteran, you can do the austere crap in my guides. I, I don't know how many times I've liked that or if people actually viewed that, but it's very useful if you don't want to stay in the pioneering faction for long. And then there's the uh, earning this. If you will notice, most gears now are pretty useless unless it's a 32 AR Serpent Chest series. That's, that's like the new Elite 92s, you know, back in the day, Elite 92s were the thing. I mean, if you're new, you, you gotta get those Elite 92s so you can raid. But now, uh, the Chris Mento is actually better than the Elite 92s. Why are my characters so soft? So, anyway. Oh, somebody has my spot. Alright. Well, what you do is, if you don't have those, I suggested already in, this, in some video that, you know, just get Chris Mento statted gear. Like,. Uh, I got a whole set of Chris Mento quote-unquote rain gear. I know it's trash, but you know, I can do solo uh, I can do solo bounty hunters with it up till uh, uh, Is that Sedacram? Yeah, I think it's Sedacram. I don't know how you say that here because it's it's different in SGE It's Chaos Requiem in SGE if I remember correctly. I tried a cool tub, but I, I got knocked back in one run never tried again I died from the wolves so anyway, what you don't do if you're a newbie, you do this, you know, the AFK thing, because that, that's, that's, stu that's, I, I won't call you stupid, but that act is stupid because of this, <laughs> there's this gear up event, you, you get veterans jump scrolls and even experts jump scrolls if you just do the quests, and by the time you get to Gene's recruitment, as I said to the other guy, you would probably be veteran, I mean, you have some veterans aside from the team that you have so it's better if you do that now this wise you only see 5m but i actually sold like a few stuff from uh being boosted by ov in mines in castilla and bounty hunter and the faction uh, fury raids there's also getting lucky if you get if you get like a great spodo meme that's the plus six pen it can sell for like 150 in market manager because for some odd reasons, 
uh, the ores in this server is pretty rare, and I lucked out in getting a a great spoto meme in uh, the Lumen. Oh no, it's Lumen here. It's Lumen Refinery. I traded in like three meg uh, major crap Lumens for 20k Feso, which uh, scored me the great spoto meme. And I haven't seen King of Greed here. Uh, the all the all the times I've been here, I never seen King of Greed. But I'm pretty sure the spawn point is here. So uh, last night also, I had an issue, ISP issue, wasn't able to play. And by the way, if you saw that Nana video, that that's not my account. Um, that's it's a that's my lag tester account. My my account's still uh, Remilia Scout uh, CT. So yeah. Anyway. I'm um, just giving you guys a quick rundown because if you're just starting, never spent. Actually, you'll you'll get uh, you'll get money faster if you do spend on the game. Uh, they have this thing in their cash shop or in right. Let me see. You can buy like shit from their cash shop, which is uh, how do I say? I wouldn't say really like legit. But um, it's pretty helpful. I mean, if if you're buying, I guess I mean, there, there's this 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 uh Feso gift box. I guess that's their Linden box. I mean, you can buy a lot of stuff in their cash shop like a year. This uh, gift box, I think, is the best value for money. Either that, or you buy G stones. But I think G stones are going down in price. So. I oh, see there's even the Valoran powder. Uh, the grade 34 is like 18M? Do I still have that in my inventory? Let me see. Yeah, it's it's 18M, but this is a market estimate, so you can add like 2M to that and it would probably be like probably 20, 22, 20 up till 25M max probably. And the Grade 35 is, I think, 30 or 40M, and 36 is uh, 60M. I haven't checked market yet recently, but I remember selling some of those. You get that from the Claire event. There is a event going down. I think we had this in SGE too, but I was already I quit during that time. Wherein you open those treasure boxes, giant sweeping, very RNG. You get trash or you get good stuff. And I think some of my faction mates I got uh, good stuff from it to a point where they can actually afford to buy Punisher. So, yeah, Punisher is by the way 500 M for those who are curious. But all in all, if you're gonna start again, my advice would be one, don't AFK, just follow the quest line, get all the MCC character XP. You can check out my my when you get to us tier. You can spam that on your low bees, the, the speedrun guide I made. Not really speedrun, but you know, it's better than AFKing your characters. Although, uh, I mean, sorry, after that, you get to a point where you have the Bahama quests, but the Bahama quests give you a lot of XP too. I remember a character going from 80 to 100, and then there's the, the Zaya, when you get to Zaya or Eric. Uh, Bruni gives you a 1 to 100 XP when you talk to her. Mm. Also, uh, the guard captain, after you give him Rotolite, it's also a 1 to 100. So, take note of that. Second tip is if you're still in the pioneering faction, uh, be shameless. I mean, leech from Ophi. Uh, she doesn't mind it as long as you do some kind of help. So, don't bring some stupid lineup like, I don't know, you know, uh, uh, what's a stupid character to bring in while leeching? I don't know, like... Uh, I don't know, some musket here? I, I don't know. Uh, bring something that can, you know, do, like, burn or, or lurch. Just might as well give her some buffs, you know? <laughs> You're leeching after all. Or if you have an Amelia with who'll cancel, and uh, she prefers that if you guys are gonna do Tower of Chaos. And don't just stand in a corner, dude. That, that's, that's rude. I mean, you're leeching already. Don't be shameless. Uh, what else? Uh, that's how you get this. You know, I actually got the achievement where you sell 50M. 
Uh, okay, let's go to the achievements. It's funny that this G has achievement section now. It's, it's like, uh, where is that? See, it's a core 100 million this because they sold the market for 15M. I mean, 5050M. The rewards are trash though. But, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the two major things that you just gotta keep in mind if you're starting. If you're not familiar with the game, ask. Always ask. The GMs are online in the game clock around, of course, 7 a.m. their game clock. Ofi is online from 4 to 6 a.m. Now, if you're living in like Singapore or Philippines in plus 8 GMT, Ofi is online around 10 a.m. So take note of that. GMs they'll be around during the afternoon up till night time. And no matter what, this I mean if you don't even if you don't like PvP, try and join singles PvP. You only need five losses to get 2k points. 2k points is a big thing. It gives your veterans like six levels. And masters I think one level. Expert two levels. So yeah, if you maximize that, then you'll be able to level faster if you're aiming for high master. I mean, you don't really need to AFK nowadays in this game. I mean, I have never AFK'd my Emilia other than leveling the stance, and she got like less than one level from that. I mean, like 50% or some shit. This master 6 level on my Emilia is all from PvP XP. Also, if you are into the AFK, the PvP shop has like good combat manuals. It has the 50% combat manuals because right now we only have this trash 20% combat manual and that's that's master already. So if you go to the PvP shop, there's some gold colored combat manual. You can buy it for 100 shiny I think and some PvP points. But I'm, I'm saving my PvP points for... The golden rosario so yeah. take note of that and that's basically it not much for now i mean right now i'm questing I, i'm trying to get raven piece of shit made me run through aqua marissa torch mansion and now here underground i don't know if you know dr torch wants me to yeah farm up the new world but whatever <laughs> Uh, Raven's quest has always been tedious. I'm getting him for story progression. I made uh, Garcia or Gavin. I don't know. Can you guys like tell me what sounds better on Gavin? Because I think Gavin Jameson sounds better other compared to Garcia Higgins. Is it Higgins? I mean, it, it sounds unique, but I don't know. Gavin, even though it sounds so American. It feels better. Anyway, that, that's it for this video. Um, you probably see me give a shout out, but if you're gonna ask for this, uh, we're all poor, man. We're all starting. Cause I remember this one dude. He, he came on like saying, "Oh hey, I'm, I'm a sub. I watch your videos every day." I'm like, "Oh cool, that's nice." After a few days, he's like, "Hey, can you sp sponsor me, Superior Blaster?" And I'm like, "What? I, I, I'm a poor dude." <laughs> Like, oh yeah, we're all new here. I'm like, yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if you want someone to sponsor you, go go look for some rich Athena or big big boy player, man. I got donation from someone from Athena, so. Oh, by the way, shout out to the guys that are normally giving me a heads up and tips and shit. For one, there's uh, Pen Penelope. He's from, I think, 2 over 1. He normally chats. I, mean, I normally chat with him from time to time. Well, not a lot, but we used to chat before because I think recently they're busy with war or something. And then there's the that boy next door. He's oh crap, I forgot his YouTube name, but he gave me some. I, I think late trick. I don't know how that that calls. It's it's late tricks or something. It lowers your latency. So I'm um, looking into it and kind of did help a bit. I'm orange right now. And then there's Azure God. Uh, oh, wait, he's not Azure Gods here. He's Azure Knights. He gave me some startup gear. He gave me a golden feed. 
uh, he gave me two. He gave me a superior blaster ring and hound ring, and then he gave me an earth mental attack ring and the MMA book on Jean. So I'm, I'm thankful for that because uh, it's a nice startup. Because I'm thinking of using Jean as my main tank for my solo raids. Oh, well, he's tankier than Grandies, and I'm pretty sure MMA deals more than Soul Guard. Although the drawback is you need to use two weapons, which is, which is fine because. Uh, if I remember correctly, you only need a three AI, three, well, <laughs> three AR gators, and then get a racial knuckle, or vice versa. I, I should check with JM about that. Damn, I think JM is like gonna laugh at me or gonna wonder why I'm still playing this game. But anyway, that's all for this video. It was, it's pretty long. It's what, fifteen minutes? Thanks for listening. That that's it for the show. Y'all have a great day.